Welcome back, everybody, to the Crypto Sherpa channel, where I read you that crypto news. Today's article is coming out of Cryptopolitan, an Australian policeman accused of stealing 81 Bitcoin. She, that is a lot of Bitcoin. I wish I had 81. Uh, but no, I wonder how he did it. Well, let's go through this article to find out. So here we go. So the case of the missing Bitcoin involving a federal police officer on a, in Australia has brought attention to the challenges of investigating crypto-related crimes. Allegations by the National Anti-Corruption Commission suggest that William Wheatley, the Australian officer in question, wiped a, wiped a treasure hardware wallet containing 81.62 Bitcoin during a crime scene investigation. The Australian policeman wipes 81 Bitcoin. This incident unfolded during a drug raid at a residence where Australian authorities discovered the hardware wallet. However, obtaining court permission to access it nearly took three weeks. Upon finally accessing the wallet, investigators found it empty with all the Bitcoin allegedly transferred out by the Australian cop. <laughs> so yeah, you, can't, you guys can't hide. So he got in there beforehand because it took the court system three weeks to finally get, <laughs> get into it. And they found it was it was emptied and you can track that it's blockchain <laughs> hilarious but the bitcoin valued at 309,000 at the time of the raid in 2019 has since skyrocketed and valued to approximately 4.2 million dollars initially suspicions fell on a crime syndicate associated as a device containing the seed phrase to the hardware wallet was also found at the same that's how he did it uh, he he stole the seed phrase so it was there he picked it up he didn't even have to he didn't need the hardware wallet all you need is a seed phrase to gain access to cryptos on the blockchain so he probably either took a picture of it did something with it got a hold of it and then yep ever covered on a wallet on his own moved it to his own wallet uh look at this detective sherpa figured it out <laughs> So the seed phrase consisting of 12 to 24 random words serves as a recovery method for the wallet if it was lost or stolen. However, an extensive investigation using crypto tracing software revealed a link to Wheatley through IP addresses associated with the stolen Bitcoin transactions. Detective Sergeant Dion Actipus of the Cybercrime Squad concluded that a police officer might have been involved in the movement of the cryptocurrency. This case underscores the growing trend of law enforcement agencies globally adopting crypto tracing software to combat illicit activities involving digital assets. For instance, the Canadian law enforcement announced in August 2023 that they had begun using chain analysis reactor software for tracing illicit crypto transactions. Moreover, advancements in crypto detective software have led to a higher rate of recovery of stolen crypto. In 2023, over $674 million was reportedly recovered from more than 600 large-scale crypto hacks. Now, combating illicit activities with crypto tracing software. In response to the accusations, Wheatley maintains his innocence against charges of exploiting his position as a public officer for personal gain, theft, and involvement with proceeds of crime. He is prepped to contest the allegations regarding the stolen Bitcoin from the Trezor wallet. The accusations against Wheatley come amidst Trezor's acknowledgement of a security breach affecting nearly 66,000 users. The company disclosed unauthorized entry into a third-party support portal on January 17th, potentially compromising the data of individuals who had interacted with Trezor's support team since December of 2021. So again, if you use Tre we covered this article before on that. If you use the support channel, that daily leak happened, but if you never used it, your treasure is fine, nothing to worry about. But this case highlights the, complex the complexities and challenges law enforcement agencies face in combating crypto-related crimes. As digital assets continue to gain popularity and value, the need for robust security measures and effective investigation techniques become increasingly critical to prevent and prosecute illicit activities involving cryptocurrencies. Now, the allegations against William Wheatley serve as a reminder of the importance of maintenance, integrity, and accountability, particularly among law enforcement officers entrusted with upholding the law. Now, the case also underscores the evolving landscape of cybercrime and the role of advanced technology in investigating and combating illicit activities involving cryptocurrencies. So, there you have it. So, yeah. So, whew, so hmm, I think he did it. What do you guys think? But again, we'll see. Again, uh, innocent until proven guilty. So he's still he's still on trial. He's going to uh, allege or he's going to... What's that word they use for? Deter? He, let's just say he's going to fight it. He's going to fight it. So again, we'll find out later on if he's guilty or not. But no, don't leave your seed phrase rolling around everywhere. Because even though this was a crime scene investigation everything, like you personally with your own crypto 
You're not going to store their wallets. You want to keep that seed phrase protected. No one else to gain access to see it. You don't just leave it on the counter or desk because whoever has those 12 to 24 words has access to your crypto. So don't just leave it everywhere. But I hope you guys did enjoy this news article. If so, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.